So the other day from the Universal vlog, we found that pig thing and we're like, what part of Harry Potter had this pig thing? Um, Chamber of Secrets. Right here. End of Chamber of Secrets. At the end of Chamber of Secrets, there he is. $95, it could be yours. Today is a glorious day. I'm walking around SeaWorld and I don't have to wear a mask indoors or outdoors. It's like freedom. It feels so weird, like it really does. So yeah, I mean, last night SeaWorld changed their policy that fully vaccinated adults can wear no mask indoors and outdoors. Disney is still indoors. You have to wear one and Universal. I also have a park pass for Hollywood Studios, so maybe if we finish up here, we can go over there. But I also have something really fun tomorrow that I'm super excited for. Like, it just happened, I'm super excited. Oh, I like that. Sir Winston Walrus. These little guys, I kind of like these. They're like vintage-y looking. When I was a teenager, and I have like, I mean, I, I never took them off, probably for like 10 years straight. I used to wear these, and then the puka shells, and I would wear them every day, just layered all over myself, like a wacko, and I kind of want to start doing it again. Oh, and I forgot, the reason I even opened the camera, they have like a Maui hook. See? I'm not sure what I want to do first. I kind of want to feed the sea lions, maybe do some stingrays, maybe we can go see Shamu fly. This guy literally brought his boom box for the dolphins. Look at the little babies. Oh, they're swimming all over. You guys probably can't even see them, but they're in there. Believe me. And there was one just shoring up here, but he's gone now. I don't really care what we do, but I just want to get away from this music. It's so obnoxious. Um, I was just here like in March and that was not there. That like sprung up overnight, that roller coaster. Maybe it was and I didn't notice it. No, that definitely, I don't know. Don't do that. I did Mako one time before and it was the scariest ride I've ever been on. All I kept thinking is if my, my seatbelt comes undone, I'm going to fly out and that'll be, that's it, I'm dead, I'm gone, nothing else. I just realized the food festival's over so that means I can't get the little shrimps. It is quite busy here today, that's just the line for pretzels, so um, yeah, if that gives you a little bit of a gauge. There is something in Sesame Street Land that I just have to share with everybody and it's not Big Bird over here. It's something even better than Big Bird. I think it's over here. Look at that chicken. Right in here. Wait, hold on. Are you ready? Can you guys see? It's the Yip Yips! Oh. I love the Yip Yips. I used to annoy everybody and act like them and I would think it would last like an hour but I would do it for literally like 10 hours straight and pretend I was a yip yip. Okay, bye guys. I don't quite understand. Are these actually for sale here? Let me see. Oh, no, they're not. It's fake. I was really thinking I was getting... I was confused. Do you know what I would buy, like, right away, 100%? A Yip Yip shirt or a Yip Yip animal. Something Yip Yip-y. It smells like the contemporary over here. I think they meant for it to be, like, um, wash soap, but let's play the game. Huh? What? Oh, I popped the bubbles. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is so fun. As wonderful as Sesame Street World is, there is no Yip Yip merch. I think there's some sort of a musical, I mean not musical, a music festival happening because there's like a random food stand. It's called Viva La Musica. There's tostones. Yeah, look, there's like a giant sign here. These guys playing the trombones and I don't know, maybe there's a festival that I didn't know about. Here's a better view of this roller coaster. That's my least favorite part of Hagrid's. I get so scared that we're gonna be going way too fast and our brakes aren't going to go and we're just gonna fly off. Still haven't found anything to eat. Since there's no shrimpies, we gotta like find an alternative. So we're heading back towards the front of the park. So this is kinda currently the wait for everything right now, which it is kinda lunchtime, sorta. I guess if you eat your lunch at two or 158. I think we're gonna go with here. I don't know that I'll like it. It's like barbecue. 
change of plans. We're not gonna do the barbecue meats. We're going to go do something different. This is where we're going. It's got more fatty food. I have never seen under my eyes look like this before. Like they are so bad. I look like I got punched and I didn't get punched. Unless I did and I didn't know. The all day dining deal sounds stinking amazing. If you come from like park open to park close, if you want to be an ultimate fatty, you can eat every hour an entree, a drink, and a dessert for $40. Like, that's like a whole, that would be like a magical birthday. We are in luck. They have a sustainable crispy fish sandwich. I don't know, what is sustainable? Oh my goodness, would you look at the refillable penguin sipper. Magic. For us, not for the chickens. Rest in peace, chickens. I was thinking that we wouldn't find a table, but as soon as I walked in, somebody was getting up, and we're right next to the stage for the show. I've never seen ranch packets, but I love ranch. These are some juicy, juicy little suckers here. All right, it's my one bite. Hot. So hot. Oh, they're good. Yeah, I like them. They're very hot. Look at it. It's like some serious like chicken stuff going on. Is that pink? Is it is it cooked? Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness, the show is starting. It's um pretty fry for a French fry. Beep, beep, beep. I really like that a lot. It was so good. It was like a lot of chicken. It wasn't like breading, so it was actually legit good. Sea World food always trumps everywhere else. Oh my gosh, I have never in my entire life seen anything so cute. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, it gave me so much joy, my heart was skipping. I felt like I was like going down a roller coaster slide. That's how excited I got when I saw this thing. His little baby is in his pocket, and then you put him back. Look at his fate. I can't handle it. I usually don't even like stuffed animals like this, but oh my gosh. They're just so cute. I can see them. No, I can't see them, but I can smell them. We're here. I'm freaking out, freaking out. Oh my god, I have to get to the food. Oh my gosh, they look just like Gracie. They are so cute, I wanna... Oh my goodness. I have to go get sardines for those chaps. They're dead like sardines. I'm gonna try him one more time. Oh, he didn't get it. All right, ready? One more time to the little guy. Get it! Oh, the big fat one took it again. Look at that. Oh my. It's all gone. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at look at the way it's doing its stuff. Oh my gosh. I can't handle this. That one tray was not satisfying enough. I have to go get more. Oh, he flipped it in the air. He's doing tricks with it. Was seriously? That was seriously. Get it? The most fun I've had in like so long. Yeah, like that was a blast. Like that was so exhilarating. I feel like a new person. Look at the way you just look at me. I can't with these guys. Any guesses what's next? Well, maybe, I don't know. I wanted to do Pushy Penguins next. The 65 minutes to see Puck is a little bit much. And Atlantis appears to be at a 70 minute wait, so. Yeah. I wanted to do Atlanta so bad. It's my favorite water ride on this entire planet. It is so fun. It's like a roller coaster water ride. Oh my goodness, somehow I ended up down here at the Dolphins. I was not looking for the Dolphins. I was looking for the, the uh, Orca show, but... World -class wines. Oh, look at them. Exotic, How cute more. are they? Radio with sustainable We've got your Can you hear the squeaking? Nice bun. Be a lot more in here. You see him? Thing for me to reach in and grab this. I don't know. It might be, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Okay, I did it. Some sucker just lost the jackpot, and it was. Uh, I've got the jackpot now. I just fed one, but I didn't have the camera rolling, so we're gonna try to get one now. Oh, I got one. He, he's coming. He's sucking it. <laughs> yeah, he took it. And that is what we call SeaWorld Bargain Stingray Feeding. That was 
as much fun as I'm having, that really was a lot of, like, I had so much fun. Feeding those sea lions, like, gave me so much joy. But the lines for the rides are way too long, and they don't have, like, um, like an express pass or, like, a fast pass or anything like that. So I think we're going to go head over to Hollywood Studios because we made that park pass today, so we might as well do both. It's a flamingo party. Oh, my goodness. They are, here they come. Oh my. How old is too old for this? Because I feel like my I feel like a teenager again. And I like it. First of all. <laughs> Don't know if there's like an age limit on doing that, but I mean this is not a temporary parking lot thing. <sighs> also, no more temperature screenings. I mean that doesn't bother me at all. There's always the mask thing. I hope we keep social distancing though still for the rest of my life. I know I keep saying that, but uh, there was none at SeaWorld at all. People all up in my butt. As soon as we get in here, there he is. Right up here, right above the bathrooms where I need to go right now. But he's here. So like Don de Esta Donald uh, on the balcony above the bathrooms in Hollywood Studios. Waving at you. Wow, this looks really good seeing everybody just normal. It's weird to be like excited just to be like normal. So I was like getting ready to walk into the gift shop, like I'm getting ready to pretend I'm doing now. So, like this is just for like a reenactment. And then I remembered you have to wear your mask inside the building. So I aborted mission. I was hoping to at least do Tower of Terror or something, but the line for Rock and Roller Coaster is literally right there. The wait times here are pretty intense too, so Tower of Terror is at like a 70 minute wait. Rock and Roller Coaster is 45, but I can't do Rock and Roller Coaster anymore. I'm getting like too old or something. And the line for Rock and Roller Coaster goes all the way almost to the end of the street. And I'm not even being over dramatic. Well, a little bit. But we are like a thousand, we're, you know, it's pretty long. It's like we should get in line and do something, but I don't know what that something is. In the parking lot. And now our ride for the day is going to be the Skyliner. We're three, two, three. And we got a clear one. So. WandaVision bus. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gone. But it was there. I shouldn't have done that. And this is the line to get on the Skyliner to go to Epcot. Let's see. So I don't really know how long that actually took for me to get to that queue line. It couldn't have been too bad. Because we're already on it. We're here. We made it. We're at Epcot and we're about to have a blast. Maybe we'll ride Figment because I know that's fun. No more temperature checks. That was probably a really fun job to have. The wait times are really not that bad. Figment's only five minutes and Soren's only 30 minutes and the land's five minutes and Nemo's a 10 minute queue line and that's what's 10 minutes. And test track is 50 minutes. I would do test track, but 50 minutes is just not in my cards. Oh, poo. Look it. I'm so excited to do Figment. It said 15 minutes. It's definitely not even 15 minutes. There is nobody in this queue line. <laughs> that was not 15 minutes at all. We got front row for Figment. How look? I don't think I've ever gotten front row for Figment. All right, have fun. Thank you. Okie dokie. Left here, right here. Left, right. What? This is odd. Um. Imagine different things. From just the sound, your mind has wings. So my battery just said it was dead and then I found this Canon battery in the back seat of my car underneath the seat. I don't even know how old it is, but it was completely charged. Lucky for me. Look at how colorful and fun this place is. I remember when you used to be able to play in here and then now, nothing. Mitt is so cute. He's like this like cute little thing and he's like this little squishy squishy. So cute. Every time I walk by this shirt, I'm always like, Disney, you have a winner of a shirt. And then I realize that's the back. Just, just, just shouldn't have done that. 
how awesome Sunshine Seasons has a whole entire tray of water for me. I found an outlet, so. It looks so bad. I saw though on TikTok that they said that under eye bags are like a cool thing to have now, so. I guess I'm trendy today. I am so thirsty all the time. This time I drink three of these. I don't know what's going on with me, but I am always thirsty anymore. I'm excited for this because for some reason the land has had some pretty crazy wait times recently and it doesn't today. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited we got row one. My heart is so full now that I got row one. I just feel like I can accomplish a lot of things in my life that I never have been able to before. I probably could even... The world is a better place with me in it. I honestly don't know why people don't talk about the bromine smell on the land. Like we're always like pirates and Splash Mountain and all that stuff. But the smell of bromine in the land is so intense. And Look at the little fairy dog peeking. Oh, oh, bye bye. Oh, he's a, I didn't even realize it comes up and down. Land has some seriously impressive B-roll skills. Whoever did these, look at that. What an intro that would be for a farmer video. For some reason, I remember there being alligators in here, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm making it up, but I swore they were in here, like with the ten, like the, the fish. Account for nearly two thirds of our Why is that planter dripping? Maybe it was water, you dummy. Oh my goodness, sunflowers are my favorite flower. And there is sunflower tower tree things. And they're so beautiful, I love it, I want it. I think it's so pretty. I will buy it at a high price. Thank you, Land Pavilion, that was the most enjoyable time that I just had, but it is time for me to say goodbye and move on to outdoor activities. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. This is the most cutest thing. Ever, this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. I want one of these banners and I'm gonna put it in my garage. So that every day when I leave for work, I'm like, yeah, there's cute things out there in life. And it's these guys. Like that little seal I saw earlier. The store is open, what's in here? Nothing, a piece of Tupperware. That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Maybe not ever, I've seen a lot of ugly things, but it's pretty bad. Turning out to be a beautiful <laughs> night here. I don't know if this is like a French thing, maybe you guys can educate me on what a frog has to do with macaroons. Oh my gosh, this is like a museum showcase of like just food. Look at all of these sandwiches. Look at all of these desserts. Look at the fruit tart. Well, it's like not a fruit tart, it's like a strawberry thing. This is the ham and cheese um, on a baguette, like from the movie Beauty and the Beast, when he's like, Maurice, the baguettes. Hurry up, that's a baguette in real life. So that's what I got, it's ham and cheese. I did not think we'd find a table in here. It is insane, it is wild. And for dessert, something I've never had before, a Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, it's not focusing on it. Let me get some good uh, footage here. That is some art. That's a commercial for the Napoleon. I just want to eat the cheese. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like a grilled ham and cheese. It's like as good as like when you your mom packs your sandwiches for a field trip and with cheese and mayonnaise, but there's no mayonnaise on it, it gets all melty. And it's so good and you're like, this is the best field trip ever. What is it? Um Night turned out to be absolutely gorgeous. It's not even hot out. It's like beautiful and perfect. Mm -hmm. 
You hear that music getting intense? Something I'm not used to is having to like put your mask on to go into the stores. So like I keep walking in and I'm like, oh no, I don't even want to be in here then because then I have to do that. So mask on, yeah. Mask on, mask on, yeah. Mask on. Wow, the line for the Skyliner wraps all the way around to where the smoking section is. We may be taking a long walk. <laughs> this is definitely like probably a I don't know. Oh my goodness. It goes all the way up to the bridge. Up over the bridge. We're walking for sure. Put the speed dial on because we're doing it. It's a beautiful night anyway. And I ate a sandwich, three chicken tenders. I don't have to wear my mask. And I had that little cake thing. So we should be taking a walk. See, that's a little bit much for me to handle. And like I said, it's a nice night for a walk. I'm an idiot. I don't know where I thought I was going. I thought that this was the pathway to Hollywood Studios. I guess I'm wrong. Hmm. This isn't the path. Wow, you guys, it is a beautiful, I mean, perfect night here. Look at the boat, the sky, all of it. This is the busiest that I've seen the boardwalk in a very, very long time. And I've been here like four times in the past week. The lights at Jelly Rolls are on. Hold on a second. See that? They're going at the same time. This is like such a magic moment for me. Look at them. They're going to kiss each other. Or not. Wow. Wow. That was the shortest love story I've ever seen. I don't think it's open yet, but I'm hoping soon. I don't know why I said I'm hoping soon, I wouldn't go. It's like a $15 cover charge just to get in there. Do you guys remember the other day I was talking about the palm tree trail with all the colorful lights and how much fun it is? It's right over here. I'm trying to get to the trail to Hollywood Studios, but I kind of want to go up and just look at the palm tree lights, like really quick. This is it from up here. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love when it goes blue. How, oh, it went away. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yes, yes, let's go see it. Oh my goodness, this is where the party is at. The palm tree party. Wow. Oh, the blue ones. Well, it used to play like better music. Oh, they're not even on right now. That was like a fail. Well, FYI, the palm tree lights shut off at 8.55. So I found another lighted pole area since they canceled my palm tree party over there. I found this one. It's definitely not the same, but I think I can work with it. I shall take center stage. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I don't know what this is for, but I like it. Palm tree lights came back on everybody as I walked away. It doesn't compare to the one tree out light bulb party that we just made up over there. I want to walk back over, but it's been a long day. <gasps> Beautiful. Love it. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. I love them. It's not looking so hot out here, so... Uh, Keep me in your thoughts. This is like super creepy down here. I feel like we're in like New York City and that someone's gonna come out of these bushes and like hiss at me. Oh my goodness. I don't even think the camera's picking up how scary the light bulbs really are. I feel like, I feel like we're in danger. Look at how beautiful Hollywood Studios looks from right here. How cute.